Letter from a Plow Nation. I am Ethiopia, the Plow Nation. On these pages, I wish to write a letter to my people. I am a land of deep gorges, high rising mountains, and flat topped plateaus. I am the source of the Blue Nile. They call me the Water Tower of Africa. For thousands of years, my forests with their shady canopies have enriched and protected my dark, dense soils. For thousands of years, my people have bred cows and oxen, donkeys, mules, and horses. My cows have provided milk and meat. My mules, donkeys, and horses have been used for transportation. Most important of all, my oxen have driven plows and prepared my rich soil for use. That is why I, Ethiopia, am proud to be called the Plow Nation. For thousands of years, my people have produced coffee, corn, and cereals with their ox plows. For thousands of years, teff has flourished in my soil. From teff, my people created Angera. Angera has helped my people grow strong and smart and full of vitality. I, the Plow Nation, have flourished for thousands of years, but in the recent years, so much has changed. Many of my forests have been cut down with no shade and no protection. My soils have eroded down my steep mountain sides, leaving my fields barren. My crops no longer have a strong foundation for their roots. In the recent years, my seasonal rains, which were once so regular and refreshing, have given way to heat and, and drought. Without water, my crops cannot thrive. In the recent years, my local governments have been overturned, not once, not twice, but again and again and again. With each change of leadership, my people were given smaller and smaller plots to call their own. Also, in the recent years, my population has risen. Many of my people live from crop to crop. Others have migrated to cities and other countries as they struggle to feed their families. My heart breaks when I think of what my land once was and what it is today. But I am still hopeful. My people are resourceful. My people are hardworking. If they wanted to, my people could send a rocket to the moon. I have one wish for my people before they reach for the stars. I hope my people recreate new tools that work in my dense highland soils. I want my people to devise new methods of taking care of my dwindling forests, my rushing rivers, and my rain-fed farms. For thousands of years, I have given so much to my people. Now I invite my people to grab this moment to rise up and come together to give their great passion, skills, and ingenuity to me, the Plow Nation. The end.